In this video we're going to have a look at loading data into Kubla Cube from point files. So point files basically contain a list of uh, survey points. If they're in a text format they're usually separated by commas or some other delimiter. You can also store them in spreadsheets so Kubla Cube can support both those options. Uh, what we have here is a simple project where we've done a survey of a site before an excavation, we've completed an excavation and then we want to compare the two surveys. We've done a second survey and we want to compare the two and find out the volume of the excavation. So just for example, I've got the um, survey before in an Excel spreadsheet and I've got the one after in a text file. So the text files often have different extensions like uh, .xyz or .text. Uh, if they're separated by commas, they'll sometimes be .csv files. Um, and with all of them, you should be able to open in Notepad and have a look at the um, text here. So this one, we can see it's uh, numbers separated by comma values. OK, so we'll open Kubla Cubed. One thing I should say before uh, starting is that the point files that are loaded into Kubla Cubed have to either be in feet if you're working in Imperial or they have to be in uh, meters if you're working in metric. So some people work with both of those. Um, so you'll have to make sure you switch this before you import the point files. Okay, so we've got the existing selected here. Um, and what we need to do to start adding in a point file is to click on the plus up here and select feature surface. So feature surfaces are like a custom element in Kubecube that can be defined with points, contours and break lines. And then that's got an outline to mark the boundary. So there's no option here for point files. Instead, you have to click feature surface and then you're adding the points as the definition of the feature surface. So we'll click on the feature surface. What you have to do when it loads is select the points tab and then select this button down here, which is add points from file. So it should say if you hover over it, add points from file. We'll select that one. So we're adding in We've got the existing tab selected, with, so we're going to be adding in the before survey, um, which was in a Excel spreadsheet. So with the uh, spreadsheet, because uh, the data is already set, separated into columns in the actual spreadsheet, the options are quite simple. We've just got to select which column represents X, Y, and Z. We have a couple of options here, which are uh, uh, for sort of either offsetting the Z values or inverting the levels. Now, you'll rarely have to do this. Usually you can bring it in as it is, that's, that's what you want. But in certain scenarios that can be useful. Inverting levels is typically quite useful in sort of bathymetry examples when the survey points are all negative or positive and you want to flip them around. So we'll click OK. Now every feature surface needs an outline to just define the boundary. So we click on the outline tab, click on the add outlines manually and we're going to use the automatic outline this time. There's another video on the different options for outlines, so I'll just do this one because it's the, the quickest option. So there you go, the, um, the point data is being triangulated and we can see the topography there. So in the proposed, a lot of the time you'll only be using a point file for the existing. That's quite common that you, you might be taking off the proposed with contour lines, but you've got a survey of the existing, so sometimes that's all you need needing to do but in this case we're tr trying to compare two surveys so we're going to add another feature surface we're going to just do exactly the same process select the points tab add points from file and I'm going to select the after.xyz file which is a text file containing the values so this one's got slightly more options because it's text and the format doesn't really give us any information about the columns. We have to specify how to separate the columns. So you do that here and the basic option that's selected by default is comma, which is the most common, or and space and tab. So if your values are separated by those, it will automatically work fine. So this is the original file and then this is what it's been converted into, the columns it's been converted into. So in this case, it's worked perfectly without me having to change anything. However, that won't always be the case. You might have some different character to a comma where you can use this box here to um, say if you've got a um, special symbol used to separate the values, then you can add, add it in there and use that. This option is for regions which typically have their number format, decimal point separator is a comma rather than a point. So that's typical in places like Spain and Portugal, and Brazil, where, where that's the standard. So you can use that option to flip it over. 
and this option using a hyphen or, or quotation marks is when when the values are got quotation marks or hyphens so this will just remove those if you want to but usually you don't have to worry too much about these options that should come through fine and you always have to pay attention to what columns have been set to x y and z this has all come through fine so we'll click ok so i'll we'll click on outlines the same process i'm creating an automatic outline around the data just as it's the quickest option click ok and the computer will compare the existing and proposed survey so there we go looking at the cut and fill results here on the left we can see that the cut volume is 5275 cubic meters so that was what we we're trying to achieve we've just compared two surveys uh, with in two separate point files so thanks for watching this video if you've got any comments please feel free to post in the YouTube video or uh, post on our forums and we'll try and answer as quickly as we can